Hey guys, this week I'm working at the lathe, turning these small ring balls with carbide tools. Stick around, then I'll show you how I make them. I'm using kiln-dried 8 quarter stock to make these bowls. This one is a 3 and a half inch square. I found the center, scribed a circle, and then marked the depth for the woodwork scroll. Then at the bandsaw, I knock off the corners to make it a little bit easier to get it into round once on the lathe. Over at the drill press, I set the depth and then drill a pilot hole for the woodworm screw. Then I check it up on the woodworm screw held in place in my four jaw chuck. I always check to make sure my cutter is lined up at center before starting. I rough out the blank with the square tool, starting with shallow plunge cuts. Then I finish bringing it into round with light scraping cuts. Next, I face off the bottom to get it nice and square. Then I mark for the recess and the outside of the foot. I use the square tool to hog out most of the material for the recess for the foot. I use this special scraper to get a perfect fit for the dovetail jaws. Then I continue with the square tool until I get the basic shape that I want for the outside of the bowl. Here I'm using the radius tool to refine that shape a little bit more. Because the cutting edge has a slight radius, it leaves a much cleaner cut than the square tool. Finally I switch to this cup tool and a sheer scraping action for a finishing cut. With this tool and a really light touch, I'll be able to start sanding at 180 grit. So I start sanding, and then sand some more, and keep going all the way up to 800 grit. Then it's time to turn it around and check it up with the one inch jaws in the recess that we cut earlier. Then I use a quarter inch bit in a Jacobs chuck in the tail stuff to set the inside depth of the bowl. I do all of the hollowing and the scraping cuts on the inside of the bowl with a round cutter. Just take it easy and don't bite off too much at one time and you get a pretty smooth cut. And then it's back to sanding, but only up to 220 on this bowl because the inside is going to be painted. Then I added a few coats of acrylic craft paint with the Taclon brush. And finally, a few quick coats of lacquer on the outside this thing is done. So I think I'm going to give it a go at the local farmers market this summer. These ring bowls are the first of my inventory. I'm making them out of 8 quarter scrap left over from previous projects, so the material cost is basically nothing. They take about 20 to 30 minutes to turn start to finish, and I think I can get $15 a piece for them, so that's a pretty good profit. Some of them I'll leave natural like this ash bowl, and others will get a bright pop of color like this walnut one that I finished in the video. 
Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching.